So we are now at part three of this benchmark series on the Snapdragon variant of the Samsung Galaxy S22 smartphone. Now I've already done two videos in this series, one for Antutu and the other for Geekbench 5. So if you have not seen those yet and you are curious what scores the Samsung Galaxy S22 is getting on them, then be sure to check those videos as I'll be linking to them in the video description below. Now remember this is the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 variant of the Galaxy S22. I don't have the Exynos version right here, but if you own that device and you are following along and doing benchmarks as well, then share those scores in the comments section. Today's video is going to be covering the PC Mark benchmark scores. And we are first going to run the storage test on the Galaxy S22. That test went by very quickly. We got an overall score of 29,664. And we have our individual scores right here. Now we're going to run the Work 3.0 Performance test from PCMark for Android. And we're going to see what benchmark scores this test is able to get.
in PC Mark's Work 3.0 Performance Benchmark Test, the Samsung Galaxy S22 was able to achieve an overall score of 13,683. And we can look at those individual scores right here. You can even check the detailed graph if you want. To monitor for things like temperature, CPU clock, and CPU average usage. That concludes our third video in the benchmark series for the Samsung Galaxy S22. I suspect the Galaxy S22 Plus and the Galaxy S22 Ultra is going to receive a very similar score that we're getting in these videos. Just remember that these videos are covering the Snapdragon variant. That is the Snapdragon 8 Generation 1 SoC. And again, I would like to see the Exynos scores as well. I may go through YouTube or some popular Android blogs to see what the, the Exynos version is getting in these tests. And if I do, I will try to post those in the video description for these videos as well.